I'm going to have to mount mount this four times on the faceplate. Uh, so I'm so I'm hoping I can figure out a way that it'll make it a lot easier. Um, what I did, I took a three-inch piece of pipe and I put uh, the cylinders at, at three point two five eight nine or so. It it's probably um, right at the forty thousandths over of the three and a quarter inches it's supposed to be. But I measured 388, and this is just a hair under 3 inches. It's like uh, 2998. What I did was I took some, some 90 thousandths two-sided VHB tape, and I wrapped it around the... Uh, I cleaned off the pipe real well so it would stick nice. Wrapped it around there. You, you can see the uh, marks from uh, where I test slid it in before. Um, it scraped the, the rusty haze off the sides. Um, then I then I so that gave me 180 thousandths, 3.180. Uh, then I needed another 90 because I want to be a few thousandths over, uh, not more than two or three. I don't want it to be hard to slide in there, but I do want it to do a good job centering it and be within you know a thousandth, two, thousandth or two, uh, because I am boring it out uh, to to a total from from when it was new of, of 94 thousandths uh, on both sides. So so an extra 100 and whatever 88 uh, so I don't want to to be too off too far off the of center I'm hoping they they got it right when they when they originally did it because I'm taking theirs and going off uh, another 330 seconds or 94 thousandths on each side so anyway th this is going to get it centered in the hole um, I've, I've made I got this I, I cut this out in the past so that it fit perfectly in the faceplate I mean it's it, it's got to be within a few ten thousandths because it's it's a really nice fit it took me a couple times and i uh i got the angle right and just kind of it worked out so uh this i'm gonna slide it in from the other side but kind of give you an idea of it's uh it's not it's not real not super tight but it's not uh not not loose either I'm trying to get that just above the surface, and this is going to push it down. It should anyway. There, that just made it at the surface. I'll let this sit on a little bit of an angle. Basically, I'm going to, I already know where they're going to be, but kind of rotate this. And that's where the uh, mounting holes are going to be. I'm just going to lift this up again. And that, that's for me. I, I I couldn't find a better way to get it, you know, straight on. And since it since it's perfectly flush with the face plate and centered, yeah, that, that that's what I wanted. So I'm gonna put these two in to hold it for now. Then I'm gonna go, uh, use some brackets and some other stuff to. To hold, to hold it down good over here. Probably run through, run through this cylinder with a with a uh, backing plate of some sort on the other side to hold the bolt so it's nice and I want it to be really well attached. And I don't want uh, too much. I don't want to put too much on these uh, the tap holes that hold the head on. It's more just to get it positioned and hold it for right now. And then, uh, eh, I don't know if I'll mount the whole thing in one shot onto the, uh, onto the lathe, or if I'll take it back off once I have everything I need all set up so, so that it's, uh, ready to go. Anyway, uh, try it out and see what happens. <laughs> 